So we've got a next question is from Prasant. Um, I've been writing Facebook ad copy for over a year for a client. Nice. That's awesome. Obviously doing a good job if you're still writing a year later, but uh, I'm running out of angles for cold and retargeting copy. How can I find new leads and angles to use? I'd ask what the niche is and the product. Yeah, the niche is important, uh, but I think just overall in any vertical, right? Like what's a process that like you saw, for study. example, let's say you wrote a hundred ads for right. yeah. whatever, like what would you do to dig up new ideas? I mean, I used to, every week I would be just um, basically screenshotting and going through ads library of different, mm. um, you know, different companies and brands. And remember, it doesn't have to be in your, in your niche. It can be other completely different. You're, what you're really looking for is a structure of the ad. Like what, you know, do they, do they lead with a, um, do they lead with an interesting question or do they lead with a, a unique angle on the product that they're selling? You're looking for the framework that the, that the ads are being run. So you want to look for stuff that is trending or has been running for a long time and just sort of follow the same sort of flow and structure. You can adapt it to virtually any offer. And it's for a real estate webinar. Mm -hmm. So okay. there should be a lot of different angles that you can use. There. Yeah, yeah so for webinars, about. right. So look at all the biz op ones, right? All the people running webinar yeah. offers, um, all the coaching clients, you know, people who are looking for uh, coaching clients, a lot of fitness, people have started doing webinars so they're going to have some creative ones um you know any other businesses like if, if you're in real estate then any other like financial i think there's some financial advisors that do webinars because that's the only way they can advertise on facebook but um you know just look for other business i guess professional services that are advertising on facebook and, and you'll get retargeted every time you visit their website yep and look at what they do and challenge yourself to how would you improve what you're being targeted with and I, it's going to generate yeah. new ideas so um like james i think i mentioned this a week or two ago about james altucher and um i will call it something less crass idea intercourse um because when, you, when you're looking at different verticals and trying to figure out how to solve those types of problems over time you get more and more creative and those ideas begin to intersect. So yeah. for example, uh, banks had drive throughs for like two decades before restaurants did. And mm -hmm. it was not McDonald's. It was Jack in the box. And they said, Oh wow. What if we took that simple idea that's been next door to us, this drive through and combine it with a restaurant, something so simple can be very profound. Yeah, exactly. It's about adaptation when it comes to Facebook. Definitely. Even whether it's in your niche or not, um, it's about just, yeah, adapting what's working out there to your, to your specific offer. So you'll never, it's unlimited. You'll never run out of ideas. Yeah, definitely. And then I recommend also, um, anytime you can, like, this is just what I'm harping on. I guess people are going to be sick of it, but just anytime you can inject entertainment, that's been something that's been working really, really well. So it doesn't have to be like as stupid as mine are, where it's like a, a meme of, stone cold steve austin with like justin's head on it or whatever you know that's low-hanging fruit though so if you get the opportunity to do that i recommend it but really it's just think about um entertainment like like especially real estate there's there's movies there's shows there's all sorts of different forms of 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 uh, ways that people are delivering that content so um it, or other stuff that again that has nothing to do with real estate where you try to bridge that gap but yeah, just pretty much anything can become an ad hook, you know? Um, so if you think about it that way, it could just be as simple as, as starting with a, a mindset that everything is content, everything is potential ads, and that might help a bit. Because you might be pigeonholing yourself right now, right? Like looking at only real estate ads or whatever, and you can get a lot of value from that cross-pollination. Yeah, someone... I mean, this is something that um, like our YouTube consultant is trying to do. Because I know for a fact that uh, he has a mortgage originator that he, all she does is run, um, she doesn't even run ads. She has an organic YouTube following. She p does not pay for ads. And I know for a fact that her net evidence was over a million bucks last year. And all she does is answer questions about the mortgage industry. She's bubbly. She gives lighthearted answers. She's engaging and like, she's built her whole empire on that. Right. So I, I just think, and we're trying to slowly but surely inject that into Stefan's brand. But like, it's, it's a proven, like, 
they're out there, the, the folks that are just answering those types of questions, like the top FAQs, for example, and it doesn't even matter if they're in your industry, you can learn a lot from them. Totally. Awesome. So hopefully that, that helped. And it might be one of those things where our answers led to more questions. So feel free to post them in the group and uh, you don't have to, uh, to wait till just these calls. We're pretty engaged in there. So feel free to, mm -hmm. to drop us a line in there and you can tag us. Or even if you don't, I go through and I think everyone else does, does as well. 